a Clara wanted to devote all of our energy and creativity to address the planet's most important needs and providing a solution of the materials that are required to ensure a transition that the planet needs to address the climate change. TSX listed Aclara Resources was born out of a spin-off from Hawkshield Mining, a British-based silver and gold mining business with a rich history that dates back to 1911. At Aclara, we do feel a sense of urgency, you know, to help the planet uh, reduce decarbonization. Our vision is to uh, provide the materials that are needed for electric vehicles, for wind turbines, and for other technological applications that use energy efficiently. Classified as a development stage rare earth mineral resources company, Aclara owns mining rights in the Maoli, Nuble, Biobio, Bio, and Araucunia regions of Chile. The company's vision is to evolve and become a leading supplier of choice for clean tech companies and technologies participating in the green energy economy. The how we obtain those minerals is also very important. So we have designed a process that focuses not, not, not necessarily on cost, but focuses on sustainability. So we believe that we have the cleanest way to produce rare earths for this planet. Aclara is well positioned to address the surging demand for rare earth materials. A key driver of growth is coming from the auto industry as legacy automakers are pledging radical transformations towards electric vehicles. That is providing the perfect backdrop, you know, for exponential growth. At the same time, something similar is happening to the wind turbines especially offshore wind turbines, which rely heavily on, on uh, rare earths. And there are also a very large set of applications that are not being uh, considered right now in the demand, for example, drones. Aclara announced in May 2022 a multi-year strategy to transform into a multi-module company. With a greenfield exploration program underway to uncover potential new deposits, the company aims to announce exploration results towards the end of this year and plans to file an environmental permit in Q2 2023. We're doing something that no one else in the world is doing. We're doing mining without explosives. There's no crushing, there's no milling, there's no tailings dam. We are recycling 95% of the water. Our main reagent is a fertilizer and we're going to be leaving a, a native forest behind.